Let's talk for a minute about one of the common things we get phone calls about, a farm pond. A lot of people have them in Oklahoma. There's probably more farm ponds than there are backyard ponds. What can we do for a pond as large as this that has as many fish in it, that gets runoff in it, has animals, maybe cattle drinking out of it coming in? What, what can you do? Well, there's really very little that you can do to make it clear like your backyard yard pond might be, but you can help it out a lot. The number one thing you can do in a pond like this is aeration. Whether you use a fountain to aerate it so you can look at it and it's pretty, or whether you're going to put a bottom aerator in it, one that has a compressor that sits on the side near the electricity, a hose that runs down underground, goes down to the bottom of the pond and allows bubbles to come up. That column of bubbles coming up from the bottom causes it to drag water from the bottom all the way up to the surface where oxygenation can take place. Otherwise, you're out of balance. You don't have enough oxygen in your water. So that's the single most thing you can do for your pond to help keep it clean. Now, unfortunately, if you have animals in it and it's got a dirt bottom, they're gonna stir up some of that dirt and you're gonna have some problems. But if you'll start early enough and do that with the aerator and then begin to add bacteria that removes muck. We've seen studies that show you can remove as much as five to six inches of muck out of the bottom of the pond simply by adding bacteria throughout the year. It's not a quick fix. It's not something that's gonna happen overnight or next week. It's gonna be a process that you're gonna go through for the entire year and treat on a regular basis, weekly or monthly, so that you've added a huge amount of bacteria to your pond. That and aeration are the two biggest things that we can do. Now we also have all kinds of lake management products and they're called lake management because the rest of it's backyard pond stuff. So what we, what we have are herbicides that are gonna kill the plants that grow in your pond. I don't think that's necessarily a good thing. When those plants die and fall into the water in the bottom, they begin to decompose. And that releases more of that nutrient in the water that causes algae to grow on. So then instead of just having brown from the dirt, you can have green from algae growing in there too. So that's, a, that's really a sticky wicket when you start adding chemicals to your pond to try and kill off vegetation. If you do too much of that and you have fish in your pond, then the dying vegetation removes oxygen from the water and that lack of oxygen is what kills your fish. So if you'll notice a lot of times when we hear about a fish kill in one of our big lakes in Oklahoma, it comes on the morning news. And the reason for that is because the plants in the water and the fish and life things in the water have been using oxygen all night. That water in the summer already holds less oxygen, so it's at its lowest level early in the morning and that vegetation, the dying vegetation has removed more oxygen. That's what's gonna have cause a fish kill. And which fish do you think are gonna die first? The little ones or the big ones? The ones that need the most oxygen or the ones that need the least oxygen? So that's, that's how a fish kill occurs. Now the other thing you can do, and this pond has done it pretty well here. The homeowner has got a lot of good grass growing along the edges. There's not a lot of dirt showing. So any runoff that comes out, and most, uh, most Oklahoma ponds are retention ponds anyway. They're intended to catch water. So the runoff that's coming in here is being filtered by the grass and a lot of that dirt that would normally wash in is being held back by the grass and it's used to grow on. So it's good and healthy for all the way around the pond when they have one that's, that's been fixed as well as this one has. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.